Hello, hello, welcome back. I'm Rainer, and today we are continuing Martha is Dead. And after some feedback, I've decided to continue the Let's Play with uh, English voice acting because it's a little less distracting. And I totally forgot about the fact that some people like to listen to Let's Plays and don't always watch the thing itself. So I am going to continue with English, although it was really lovely to hear the original Italian as well. But even I had a little bit, it, it was a little bit distracting to, to read the subtitles constantly. So we're going to continue in English and uh, see where this story is going to take us. For those who missed the beginning of it, um, basically we are playing as a... I, actually, I don't know how old we are. Maybe late teens, early 20s? I'm not entirely sure. But our name is Julia and we're part of a twin. Um, and our twin is called Marta. And we find Marta dead in the lake of this family home. I think it's Granny's family home, I'm not sure. It's not her parents' house. So I, I kind of lost track where we are, but it is part of the family. The family is quite well off, well to do. And uh, people in, in the area know of the family and know them. Um, and we find our, our sister floating in the lake. We take her out, we accidentally take her, well, we take her necklace off, which then kind of accidentally made people think that we are Marta and not Julia. It was also heavily hinted that um, the mom really dislikes Julia, was kind of glad that she was the one who passed away and not Marta, because Marta was her favorite, which is kind of harsh. And the dad is the other way around. He had a close bond with Julia and not Marta. And Marta was also deaf. And it again was heavily implied that Julia was the cause of that and that Julia had um, serious mental health problems or something like that. So it'd be interesting to see how this is going to develop. Um, we now have to pretend that we are Marta, which means that we are mute because Marta didn't speak because she was deaf. And we also have to do all the things she does. The game is playing okay today. Uh, I had to look into the lagging. Apparently it's a really common thing. So Marta read the paper every day. Brutal assassination in San Casciano. Julia Kay, a young woman from a respectable family, brutally murdered near her home. Carabinieri investigates. A possible political motive emerges. Oh, political motive. Firm bulwark, even in the skies. 159 aircraft of the Germanic defense shot down in 24 hours. Major Russian operation northwest of Jassy. Enemy convoy lost in the Mediterranean. Two destroyers and six merchant vessels sunk. So this is also during World War II. I think it's 1944 at the moment. Does it say anywhere? Yeah, 1944. And it's the 18th of... Luglio. What is Luglio? Um, it's a shame that they didn't use an Italian uh, native to do the English. Uh, this is a very British person. But I hope she does her best with all the names and stuff like that. Julia Kay. Distressed but supported by faith. Irene E. the mother, Erich the father, and Martha the sister sadly announce mm. Julia's passing. The funeral will take place in La Romola, Thursday, July 20th at 9.30 p.m. Departing from the property of the deceased. Right. Um, yeah, she's, uh, she's pretty good with the naming and stuff like that. Except, except for Martha. She says Martha and not Marta. Because that's what they said before. First improvements in food registration. Bread rations increased by 50 grams per day as of April 20th. Mm. A kilo more every month of soup ingredients. Reforms to the treatment of agricultural workers and an unexpected distribution of jam. <laughs> unexpected distribution of jam. That's all of them, right? And also she said bulwark here. I thought it was bulwark. Bulwark? That's how you spell it. Is that another one of those weird English things that make no sense? We're gonna spell it this way, but haha, <laughs> do you think that's how you pronounce it? Oh no. Um... I hear music somewhere. Yeah, the game's running pretty good now. Huh. 
Okay, let's look at breakfast. Bread, butter, jam and coffee. Martha's typical breakfast. I prefer honey and milk, but mm. I will have to adapt to her tastes. For obviously. breakfast. Honey and milk for breakfast. Okay, a space lets me see where I can interact. So I'm just going to go through these bits here. Daddy says that our wine, which is produced here, is extraordinary. I hate wine. I prefer beer. Mm. Well. During deep winter, I would go to sleep snuggled by the fire and Nanny would get angry. Do you want to turn into a piece of charcoal, Julia? Yes. And why would she get angry? I don't understand that. These plates are not ours. Nanny left them here. I remember them well. Nice. I like that we get to look at everything. Because the first episode uh, was pretty horrific. Oh, I can look at that. So it's nice that it kind of... Mummy's family coat of arms. Switches it up. I wonder if they're real coat of arms. I have so many questions. I kind of want to look at... Oh, I can look at these too. Mummy's family coat of arms. Also. That's a lot. Okay, that's everything I think in here. I'll just go outside because... Um, oh, maybe look at her sister real quick. Oh, kitchen. I liked watching Nanny as she cooked. I always picked up loads of techniques. Oh. Can I read this? Oh, being... Oh, they actually translated the uh, the recipe as well. That's cool. I can't I can't interact with it though. I can't get any closer. But uh, it says like carrots, celery, uh, dried chili to taste, fresh thyme to taste, that kind of thing. That's really cool. Oh, I thought this moved. It scared the shit out of me. I'm a little bit on edge. Is this things? Yes. Oh, oh no. No. <laughs> Dante's Inferno <laughs> illustrated by Dore. Always hanging cheery things. Hmm. I got a bit confused by the controls because I've been playing so many different games with different controls. <laughs> I was like pressing E because I played Phasma last night, so I did it again. Why? Old photographs that father took of this house. Hmm. Looks exactly the same. Ah, uh, our sister. Oggi Bonsi. Oh. On the day of Saint Alexis, the battle rages in the city tormented by Anglo-American oh. bombing. Our Lady of Carmel, a company of the Falchium Regiment, counterattacked yesterday, forcing the French to retreat to Piazza del Mercato. The situation is currently under control. What the hell? The moment I thought I saw... No, oh, no, that's not possible. It must be this whole situation making me see things that don't exist. Maybe, maybe not. Also, I think Daddy is a Nazi. I never even saw this chest here. But, uh, that's the big old swastika. Florence, July 15th, 1944. No. General Erich K. As per our prior agreement, we are sending you military encrypted communication material. The device must remain hidden and secret. Hail. Feld Mascheralo, Carl H. Hmm. I, I didn't notice that. Can you be quiet for a second? Can I turn you off? You're too loud. So what else can I look at? These things? God. The music's going this crazy. This painter was a friend of Grandpa's. I always loved his paintings. As a child, I used to look at them for hours. Really? Because it looks like something I would have drawn when I was five. The only way people could oh, tell Martha. Martha and me apart was by dressing differently. Even Mother couldn't tell us apart. Yeah, well, that's why they're in the predicament they're in now. Mummy and Daddy. They are the epitome of wealth and elegance. But pain pays no heed to money and style. Hmm. That's true. 
Can we say a little prayer or something? No? Oh, books. Books, books, and more books. In our villa, there must be ten times more than even here. Hmm. What about the goons? These hunting rifles are not daddy's. He never went hunting. Nanny must have left them here. Where is Nanny? Can you be quiet, radio? I can't even turn it off. Why can't I look at these? Daddy, mummy, and my grandparents. It seems oh. almost impossible that father is a soldier. Mother would have been more suitable if she wasn't a woman. Huh. Um, but you're... you're ugh, I need to get out of here. This music's driving me... Oh, our little shoes! The music's driving me nuts. We'll come back here when it's a bit quieter. Oh, I can look at these too. These masks. I remember them vividly. I always try to escape their gaze. Yeah, that reminds me of the uh, One of Indonesian Daddy's dolls. Many photos. Who knows who these other people are? I grew up with, uh, like, my next door neighbor used to look after me quite a lot when my parents went away, like, for a night out or whatever. If I stayed with her, she had a lot of Indonesian shadow puppets in her, in her, like, guest room, and it scared the shit out of me as a child. War. Always war. Even in paintings. Yep. Um, we looked at these, those Dante. We don't want to look at these, no. Okay, let's go outside. Um, in the previous episode, she wanted to take photos of birds outside. Um, oh, is there something in here? No, okay. Uh. And what else was there? We've done the paper because that's what Marta would do. Okay, let's just... Posta. It's nice. I'm so glad it's not so laggy anymore. Huh. It's beautiful out here. <gasps> Animals! We're gonna go there. Two cows, three cow. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna say hello to you in a bit. First, I'm gonna look around here. I wonder if we'll see, like, Marta in a window somewhere. Oh, I can't go down this way. Oh. What's this door, then? Can't go in. Why? Why? Alright. I'm gonna go this way, then. I'm gonna go to the cow. Excuse me. Well, a little bit lag, but whoa. Okay, a lot of lag still. You have to forgive me. It's like a known uh, issue with this game. And there's not really a fix for it. I've tried a lot of stuff. Even on the lowest settings it does it, so. I'm like, well, I might as well have really good settings and then... Still have to deal with that. <laughs> Hello, I can't get to them. Oh, I can. It was always fun to watch the goats get milked. Ice was one of the more agitated ones and would always drive Nanny crazy. But they're not in very nice pens, especially the cows. Oh, there's a... Like a jigger here. Hello? The generator. It's very important these days as the power goes out often. Mm. They moved it here from our house. Hello, cows. There's a saddle next to you. That would imply horses, but unless they ride the cows. Hello, you're cute. Can I not talk about you? Or I can? I saw a thingy. The cows. That must be Chinzy and her little calf. Yeah, and the other one. Chinzia. Hello, Chinzia. I'm above you now. I don't want to be, but I'm floating. There you go. I can't crouch. Alright. I can't open this, can I? No. Okay. 
I was afraid of animals when I was little. I never approached them alone. Well, I mean, that you're afraid is not so much fun, but I would I would recommend people not approaching animals uh, if you're unsure in general. Right, I should probably I should probably get the bike. Hmm. This is the center of our farm, but since we moved here, it hasn't worked like it used to. Security matters, Daddy says. Ah. Yeah. Nothing to interact with down here. Creepy window. I can't go through. Oh, there is a key in the door, though. Can I take it? Nope. No creepy family secrets. I wonder if not being able to talk to anyone will make her worse. Also, I think Julia has a boyfriend called, uh, was it Pablo? Lapo? Lapo? I forgot his name now. Well, let's go to the chapel. Can I go in? Hello? What? bit weird I can't go into these buildings. I wish I could though. But yeah, from the, the top of the house, this looked very familiar, uh, similar to the asylum or the uh, mental hospital, I should say, in uh, the Town of Light, which is also set in Italy uh, around the same era. Oh, can I go to, down to the river? Yes, I can. I came here to fish when I was little. I went with that ever so kind man who worked for my father. Who knows where he is now? Maybe he joined the war too. Well, as long as uh, at the good side and not like your dad. Oh, where are we going? Can I go all this way? I Some always wanted to swim here when I was with Nanny. Even when it was cold. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I can't go any further. Really? You let me walk this far? Alright. Oh, I can go up here. Oh. Ah, I'm stuck. Am I stuck? Can I not go up? Okay, I can. Is this the back of the house? Cool. What a beautiful place to, to grow up in. I mean, I know she had issues and life wasn't that great for Julia. Can I, can I climb up? Because hmm. in the beginning you see Julia with a lot of scars on her face as well. Okay, we can't do anything with that. Let's take the bike. Um. Oh, the birds. Yeah, I know. Julia's bike can be used to get to locations faster. Uh, let me just look at my inventory real quick. So I've got my camera. Whoa. You're about to use Julia's camera. It's a 1940 cord with 120 mil film. You'll use it to take photos throughout the game. Some photos will have hidden elements that will progress the game's story. That's cool. While holding the camera, an icon will appear to indicate Points of photographic interest. This icon will appear and become clearer the closer you are. Press E to see your camera and any fitted attachments. What? No camera skin unlocked. What? Stop observing. Look for the subject you want to photograph and press to continue or Q to exit camera mode. Okay. Are there any things of interest here? Oh, there's the cows I'm hearing. 
You're about to take your first picture. To simplify the simulation, the picture preview displays the settings as you change them on your camera. In real life, the viewfinder's image is controlled by the secondary lens and only responds to focus. To prepare your first picture, if you stand still, you'll be able to fine tune the camera rotation, pitch, and height. <sighs> Alright. But what if I don't want to? Open the advanced settings panel to make your picture unique. Control. God! Use the panel's controls to adjust focus, exposure, aperture. Okay. Hmm. Okay. After closing this window, just the camera. Okay. Space to shoot. Okay. But I just want a photo of this. There you go. Achievement unlocked, the sun. Hey, congratulations, you've taken your first photo. You can shoot as many photos as you want throughout the game, but remember that only a few will be critical to the store's uh, progress. Soon you will learn how to develop the photos you've taken. Oh, what? You what? Okay, I'm gonna close here. Close? Oh, I gotta hold close. I love that. That's really, really cool. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna look at the map. Try the camera. Oh, we need to do it there. Okay. So where is that? Oh, near the chapel. I thought it was there. Okay, so this area. Cause she was saying so. Oh, there you go. Okay. Uh, camera. Okay, right, Q. Yes. Can I zoom in? No. Can I get really close to you? Or are you gonna fly off? Subject framed. Out of focus. I can't get really close to you. Uh, oh, that's inclination. Okay. Don't want that. Height. Oh. Yes. Um, how do I focus you? Again? Is it with control? Focus. How do I? Oh. Oh, in focus. There you go. And... Look at me, bird. 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 I'm just gonna do it. Excellent. I've taken the picture. Now it's straight to the dark room in the cellar to print it. Oh, no. Oh, it's, shit's Daddy gonna go... Daddy recently became a general in the German army. Yeah. He used to take pictures on the front lines, but now he gives me the materials to take photographs instead. Now that Martha is gone, only this camera can fix my ideas and my memories. I can't allow myself to forget. We are so lucky. In these difficult times, pantries are <laughs> empty and people are going hungry. But with a German general for a father, food is never scarce. Yeah, at what price though, Julia? Your dad is a Nazi. What? Oh, wine? Our wine. Daddy is so proud of it. Mm, oh, there's the uh, dark room. I'm gonna say anything about the dress? Can I look at this? Mommy's medicine. Will they do her any good? Hmm, I don't know what that is actually. Mummy's sewing machine. She learnt how to sew because nobody else could Not do it she. to her liking. Quite. Mummy's a bit of an asshole. Ooh. Will we Things take it? This could be of use to me. Yes. Nice. Cool. 
Um, the cellar is less scary than I thought it would be. Lorenzini haberdashery. Five meters of gray cotton fabric. Six meters of white linen fabric. Four meters of green satin. Hmm. Delivered on June 5th, 1944. In the event of an issue, contact us on the number 6987. And this red fabric? It's not been mentioned. Could this also be one of mummies, or could the nanny have left it here? I love that she says mummy and daddy still. Mummy and daddy. Mummy, daddy. Oh, barrels. I don't like wine all that much, but I go crazy for our dessert wine. It is very sweet. See, that's what I was like as well. Um, I never liked wine that much um, when I still drank any alcohol. Um, but I did like rosés, sweet rosés, and I really liked dessert wine. Oh, I can place my camera here, right? Can I not take my place my camera here? Huh. These workbenches fascinate me. I would love to learn carpentry. This is where Nanny's husband made my dolls. Puts must be developed using the dark room in the basement. I know. The puppets I used to play with were made here. I never knew that when I was a child. They always told me that a fairy bought them. Hmm. I didn't really believe them, but it was nice to think that. I'm stuck. Anything in the deep dark depths of the wine cellar? No. I can't open this. Oh, is this? Oh, these are the double doors that I saw the key to, right? And I said, it's a shame that we can't go in there. Now I know why, because they wanted us to go here first. Right. Let's develop this then. I have a feeling this is not going to go well. Daddy set up his dark room here. He doesn't take photos anymore because of his work, but photography is still his true passion. I'm allowed to use the dark room when I want to. Daddy had this device brought here last week. It's old, but it still works. He has always loved everything technological. Hmm. I don't trust daddy though. What is it? Oh. Look at other slides. Hmm, cool. To develop a photo, you'll first have to use the enlarger. The enlarger is an optical instrument that allows you to process photographic paper. After shooting a photo, the film must be developed in several steps. This aspect has been omitted for the sake of simplicity, but in reality the steps are as follows. The film is firstly rolled on a reel and put inside a small tank. That tank is then immersed in the developer, washed and then immersed in a stop bath. It is then washed again, dried and finally cut. You'll find your rolls of film already developed and ready for printing choose the image you want to print to paper the preview on the left side will help you choose of course you will see your images in negative oh so i've just got these two right okay let's do this one first the enlarger allows you to customize your photos even more okay use the controls to move the paper okay when these three circles are aligned the picture is focused Woman, shut up, I'm trying to read. If you still see the image out of focus when aligned, you probably shut it that way. Play with the adjustments until you're happy. When you're ready, press space. Woo! Uh, so what am I looking at? The bird, right? Where is the bird? Okay. I don't see the bird on this. I'm guessing it's here somewhere. Uh, I can't develop the photo like this. Why? Expose paper. Move paper. I have. Card out of position. 
in focus. So, what do you what do you want me to do? I have moved this. Ah, it was in focus. Yeah. I can't it's... develop the photo like this. What do you mean? I don't understand. What else is there? I can't develop the photo like this. I don't understand. What is the issue? Card out of position. Now I want this photo. Oh, I see. It needs to be as big as this. Right, that's why she was moaning. I didn't think it was that easy, actually. Okay, let's do it like this. Um, but now I gotta... Right, I get it now. Okay. Is it in focus? Okay. There you go. I get it now. Where's the bird, though? Okay. Now I put it in the bath. It's weird because I... Stop immersion? Oh, when do I need to do that? Here? I guess? Not a bad photograph. It seems that the camera works perfectly. Cool. Now I can take a self-timed photo for Martha's frame. Yeah. Oh, that's what we're gonna do. Achievements, cool. Yeah, what we're gonna do with this? Huh. All right. Um, I'm gonna go back out, do the photo, and then that will be it for today, unfortunately, because I don't have a lot of time. But um, yeah. So that's gonna be this. I knew it. And I think there's gonna be a jump scare. Anyway, I got a bit confused because I used to develop my own film. But of course it was way different because it was in the 1940s, so... Yeah. Camera is set up with the self-timer. Alright. I'm waiting for... Uh, for Martha to appear behind me. All right. Oh. Nice. Oh, what was that? The objective went a bit weird. Oh, it's this one. I keep on eating everything. What? I wanted to pick up my camera. Are we not going to use it again? What? With the enlarger, I can print the images from the film onto paper. I need more film. It took three fucking images. All right, let's do this again then. It's always a thrill to develop a photo. You can't um, see anything at first, yet something invisible is captured on the black film. A kind of ghost. That invisible breath then returns to reveal the reality from which it was torn. There are those who say that photography steals the soul or captures it. That's why they used oh. to photograph off the dead. But nowadays, almost nobody does it anymore. Even if it's just a delusion, I want to photograph Martha. I want to have a small reflection of who she was with me. But I have to do it secretly, or they'll think I'm crazy. Hmm. Well, okay. I guess it is a little bit. So 
hard to see where she is actually. Hmm. I think I want it like this. Good. And then it's A and D. There. I don't like it. I used to do pin photography as well, where you have a box with photographic paper in it. And um, you just prick a hole in it and cover it. And that's basically your camera. It's a really basic camera. You just yes, open it. this is me. No one was ever able to tell us apart. But I never had the slightest doubt, and nor did Martha. It's strange how what identifies us most deeply is not visible to anyone. I was obsessively thinking about Martha and what had happened. But suddenly, a thought took control. The memory of that day at the lake was becoming more and more like a dream when, after awakening, the image becomes more and more faded. Could it be that the memories were a figment of the mind? Had I been the one that hurt my sister? I had always envied her and now I had taken her identity. I experienced a suffocating pattern of thoughts. I decided to go straight to the lake to retrieve the film rolls. They would tell a different story, I was sure. But deep down, I kept hoping they would confirm my fading memory. We have film rolls? Oh, cliffhanger. Of course the door is locked. Oh no. If the keys aren't hanging on the lock as usual, then they will be in Daddy's study. We live in fear now. My parents are not going to let me go to the lake anymore after Martha's death. So this is the right time. I need to know. The self-doubt I feel is eating oh, me Oh, right. Oh, God. So the next one's going to be ultra spoop. I'm sorry I have to leave it at this. But, um... I'm just glad the game's working properly. Or, mostly. And, uh, yeah, it's really interesting, like, that it's interspersed with, like, peaceful moments where nothing much is going on, and then the next bit's going to be horrific again, probably. So, uh, yeah, I hope you're <laughs> looking forward to that. It's a very interesting game. I really enjoy it so far. Um, I've seen a lot of people complain about it as well, because they were probably expecting something else, but... I don't know, if you know the first game of the developer, or I, I don't know if it was the first one, but Town of Light, it's very much in that kind of, you know, vein of things. So, I I'm, I really like it. I like the exploration, I like that it's um, very peaceful at times, and then other times it's absolutely horrific. So, I'm looking forward to seeing how this is all going to develop, and I'm guessing we are not going to... Uh, get away with it lightly. I think uh, Julie is going to pay a very big price um, as we saw her in the beginning. She didn't look too well. Anyway, let me know what you think as always and I will see you when I see you. Mm -hmm.